hello friends so in this session we are going to learn about html forms so basically when we are visiting any website which contains uh, uh, to enter the information of the user candidates or uh, applicant so we are using forms here forms is basically contains the text boxes submit button with uh, some of the review buttons and some more text boxes available on this so basically uh, we knew that the html forms body and uh, head section uh, so inside the body uh, here the form attributes are available or uh, all of the tags which is available in the forms so we are describing here uh, so basically the text box means what uh, like if we want to enter the name of any candidates or uh, uh, if you are uh, taking an example of a railway uh, railway form then uh, we, when we need there uh, the name of the uh, traveling person and its gender then um, in submit button so the text box contains the information of the name like if you want to enter the name of the uh, travel person so we can enter it inside the text box so basically if you want to have a look on the text boxes so like this text box like this so this is a uh, simple text box so when we want to enter the any search information or uh, the name of the person uh, we can enter it here and the radio button contains the small dotted buttons radio buttons So like this one two and three like uh, male female and other as well so this type of are called as radio button so we are starting here so whenever we are taking any form attributes so we can uh, enter it inside the form elements and then we are uh, the input type is basically uh, the text box then it's a radio button and the um, submit button input type equal to text box I'm taking here the two to three text boxes like this. If I want to enter the name of the person, so name here dot br. Then we are again to appear the text boxes in next line. from no, from means traveling from to means uh, origin station or destination station we are again we are here we are and then Mm, two. Mm, we are again we are. So if I am just saving that uh, text box into HTML form, or uh, I can run it directly launch in Google Chrome. It's not saved because of this. Save, stop. Forms. Forms. Dot. Html. It's not. 
if I will run it again. So now you can see the here the text boxes. If I want to enter a name, so it is having a uh, some default character of a uh, uh, enter the name in the text boxes. can see from a uh, name of the person who is traveling from then from from station and to station that is destination if i want to add any radio button so i can add it here uh, i'm having three radio buttons Radio value checked checked. Save it again. <coughs> uh, just refresh the page. Now you can see this uh, here. There is a three ready buttons up here. Here. So if you want to add any specific type of like female, and if I want to see male, then other. <coughs> Sorry. Saving again. Now refreshing the page. So you can see here uh, male, female, and uh, other option. So basically, when I uh, I am saying that checked, so it is automatically checks for one uh, radio button, and if uh, I want to check for all so all three ready buttons will really appeared as a check option so this is type of ready button if I want to enter any submit button then I have to create uh, that as well like if I am selecting type submit Value also contains submit, then that button should be available on my page. So, this is all about the form. So, when we are opening with the any form information, to so uh, text boxes, uh, then uh, radio buttons and uh, but uh, submit button is uh, definitely available then we we can add the check boxes as well like uh, <coughs> check box Check uh, basically the difference between checkbox and ready button. Ready button is a one to one selectable, and checkboxes we can select the multiple section. Like if I want to uh, travel, uh, travel two to three person, or if, if I want to assign, like if I'm purchasing vegetables, like uh, or buying any hotel stay, stay hotel details. So if I want to take. Uh, contain any more information related with that so we can add it multiple times or the multiple check boxes like that so if I am purchasing any content on the Flipkart or Amazon so
so if I want to add any add-on products for this so I can definitely check it here providing name as whatever content we are providing like uh, add-ons add-ons and keeping as uh, a break now saved just I have to refresh the page now you can see here add-ons is also available so this is all about forms so there is a uh, basically the forms are related with the uh, data transmission per, uh, performance so there is a get and post method available for this so get get and uh, post is basically used for the small amount of data as well as very huge amount of data uh, so uh, get is uh, actually containing the uh, text means uh, fetching the text and post is sending for the that response site so it is it will be used for the basically for the small uh, data and as well as a big amount of big chunk of data like if i am sending the name of the person it's a small and if i am sending lots of information about any person any candidates or any rival person so i can definitely use for that so uh, we will learn more about the get and post method in the next session hope you like it uh, if you have any comments or any suggestions please uh, add in the comment box and please do like subscribe for new updates thank you